everyone, how are you? So today I am doing the what is in my bag video or the what's in my purse tag or whatever you want to call it. I'm not sure what the official name is, but I haven't done one of these before and they've been going around on YouTube for a really long time before I even started YouTube and I was tagged by Lindsay Does Nail. So thank you so much for tagging me. I will link her video in the description bar below, but I actually just got a new bag this week. So I thought it would be the perfect time to film this anyways and I'm really excited to show you guys what's in my purse. So this is my bag and I just got it this week which I am so so excited about. I, it's going to be fairly clean when I do the video because I just moved everything from my last purse into this purse so we'll see but that is my purse. So I got this bag from JustFab.com recently. I ordered it like last week or the week before and I had never bought anything from there before. It's a subscription site where you sign up for $40 a month you get something which is why I avoided it because I don't normally spend $40 a month on subscription services but they have a ton of shoes and bags and I didn't realize like they're really good quality. I watched a bunch of videos and reviews on them and I decided to go ahead and get that because when you sign up your first item or for the first 24 hours you can get something for $20 which um, shipping is free so it's just $20 flat which I could have gotten a pair of boots I was looking at. There's so many great boots or this or a bag for $20. So I actually got this bag for $20 and it's definitely worth more than $20 because it's such great quality and I'm already obsessed with it. So if you guys are interested, I will have a link down below where you can check out Just Fab and I think there's a coupon code going around which if I can find it, I'll link it or I'll put it in the description bar below. But even if you don't use it, for the first 24 hours, one of your items is $20 which is such a good deal. So anyway, I'm going to open it up and show you guys what I got. Well, I'll show you the bag a little bit more first, but it, um, this is what it looks like. It's really Really large and it's really great quality. This is supposed to be like faux ostrich print which is why it like, has that pattern on it and you can connect the shoulder strap. The front doesn't have any pockets but it has a zipper pocket for the main compartment and I don't know why it's so heavy but there's a back zipper compartment as well. You can also carry it with these handles which is what I've been doing recently. So I'm just going to open it up and show you guys what I got. So I'm opening up the main pocket and actually I'll show you the inside of the purse as well. This is the inside. There's a zipper pocket right here and then on this side there are two side pockets and it's really large and there's like a quilted pattern right in on there. on the two side pockets I have this hand cream which is hand food by Soap and Glory and I absolutely love this. Now that it's winter it's like essential to have a hand cream in your bag because I find my hands getting dry all the time and I've been using that non-stop. And then I just have two pens. I have a black pen and one that writes pink because I know that you can't use a pink pen for everything. And then I have some gum in there and I just really like the Orbit Sweet Mint Gum and I I have like two packs because I chew gum all day when I'm at work. I literally just chew gum and when it loses its flavor I spit it out and I get another piece. So I go through like a pack of gum in a day which is bad but I just really like gum and I hate having like not perfectly fresh breath. Next I have this which this is something that I don't normally have in my bag. I'm not like a candy fiend or anything but it is the caramel apple pops because okay these only come out during the fall time and these are amazing. If you guys can find these near you they were at my Target and they were almost sold out and they are the green apple and they have like chewy caramel on the outside and they're so good but they're bad for you. I don't normally eat candy but when it comes to fall time I have in my bag just in case because you never know. You might want one of those. It's Halloween time and it's just like a good time for candy. Then I have, I'm trying to get the random stuff out of the way. I have my sunglasses which right now I'm just using these cheap ones forever, from Forever 21 and they're just these little like floral sunglasses that I think are really cute. Then I just have a bottle of water. I like to keep that in my bag just in case because I'm always thirsty so I think that's important to have around you. I'm either drinking coffee or water Water all of the time. I'm obsessed with both of them. Then I just have this little camera case and I have my vlogging camera which I don't really vlog that much anymore. I used to vlog I used to daily vlog before I did a beauty channel, but it's just like this little flip cam, which I don't recommend this because it broke on me. I'm not even sure what happened, but it doesn't really work half the time. And then I have some cough drops by Halls because I was sick. I thought I was getting sick a few weeks ago, but I have those in there just in case. You never know when you might need those. And I have my keys right here, which just have like this little pink heart keychain that I got and some keys to my car, my apartment, my parents house, um, different things like that on there. Nothing too special. And then I have two different like makeup type bags and my wallet which I will show you guys my wallet first I guess. Oh. This at 
Target, and I thought that it was really cute for fall. I figured you can go ahead and use it as a clutch if you wanted because it has this cute handle, and I bought it. So I don't really have a whole lot in here. I have like my store rewards cards in here that are supposed to go on keychains. And then in the main pocket, I just have my credit cards, and then I have um, my Dunkin' Donuts card, my Starbucks card, my Ulta card, Sally's card, um, things like that. I have some of these U.S. Postal Service delivery confirmations for when I mail stuff out for YouTube. And then I have one dollar because I never use cash. I always use my credit card, which is bad. I'm trying to break the habit of that. I mean, I pay it off, but I just think using a credit card is a lot easier than using cash. But I am going to try to break the credit card cycle and go back to cash. And then I just have my license, which is a hideous picture, so I'm not going to show it. But that is everything that's in my wallet. So, so exciting. And then I will show you guys what are in my makeup bags because that might be a little bit more interesting. So, I need a new makeup bag because neither of these hold very much and I want one that holds like everything all together. But in here I just have mostly lip products. I have this Urban Decay Lip Junkie in the color Naked, which I think this one came with the Naked 2 palette I'm pretty sure. Or yeah, the Naked 2 palette. Then I have my absolute favorite lip gloss of all time, which is just the Revlon Lip Gloss in Pink Pop. This is my favorite. I'm actually wearing it today, but I feel like it goes with everything and it just looks so pretty. It glides on so smoothly and I definitely recommend it. I have this lip gloss by Anastasia in the color Sugar Pink, which is just like a natural kind of looking pink, kind of like a bubblegum pink. Then I have this Revlon Lip Butter in the color Lollipop, which has been my favorite recently because it's so pretty for fall. I love it. It's really bright and vibrant, but it just goes on so easily. You don't have to worry about getting like out of your line, out of the lip lines or anything like that. I have this Maybelline Baby Lips in the color Cherry Me, which is just like a nice natural color. I'm obsessed with this. I wear it all the time. I have a CoverGirl Lash Blast Volume Mascara. Just in case, I have a Burt's Bees lip balm. This is just a replenishing lip balm with pomegranate oil. That looks like this. And then I have this lip gloss. It's Liplicious Tasty Lip Color, and it's just sheer, and it's cherry vanilla. The last thing I have in here, which I don't, I haven't actually used these yet, but I keep meaning to. It's by the brand My Couture. I got this in a My Glam bag months ago, and they're blush sheets. You just rip out one, and then you press it on your skin, and it's like blush. So I threw that in here because I feel like that would be super convenient to carry around if you need blush. That way you don't have to worry about bringing your blush, bringing a blush brush, which you guys can see I don't really have any face makeup just because I hate carrying it around because you need you know so many things to apply it then I have this one which this bag was actually in my glam bag a couple of months ago and I have these cleansing and makeup remover towelettes just in case and then I have this warm apple cider antibacterial hand gel because you never know when you need that I use it at work all the time I have a travel oil with some perfume in it right now it has the aqua de joya um, perfume in there and then I have a bunch of hair ties, which that's where all my hair ties are, I guess. I didn't know they were in here. And I have a little clip in case I want to clip my hair back. And then I have a gum wrapper, which I'll throw that away, and a nail file in here. I would keep my phone in there if I was out, but I'm at home, so it's not in there right now. And then I just have some business cards. My mom got me this case for Christmas a few years ago. It says Diva on it, and it has some business cards in it, which is something really exciting, which I haven't announced yet on my beauty channel, but my sisters and I started a little business. Some of you might know if you're friends with me on my personal Facebook, because I think I am friends with some of you, but I haven't announced it anywhere yet, but I'm going to give you guys a little sneak peek since you're watching this video but this is our business card that's the back of it my little sister designed it so I will be having a video announcing that which is really exciting soon but I just have them in here so I can give them out to people that I come in contact with and that is everything that I have in my purse I don't really keep too many more things in there if I'm traveling then I'll throw my iPad and a book in there but other than that that's pretty much I it I definitely recommend this bag I think that it's such great quality It's empty now and it's still really heavy like, it's just, it's a really good quality bag. And I can't believe that I only got it for $20. I feel like you can dress it up with your outfit. And I just like bags that are, like, stretch, structured and not too casual. Like, every once in a while, it's nice to have one of those, like, slouchy boho bags. But I prefer to carry this because I think that it really dresses up your outfit. And I love black. It goes with everything. So that is what I got. If you guys interested... 
Is that my phone? I guess it is in my bag. <laughs> Sorry, if you guys are interested in this bag, I will have it linked in the description bar below and you can head over to Just Fab website and get it for $20 if you haven't signed up before. Otherwise, you know, it's $40 regularly. I think if you're not signed up on the website, it's a little bit more, but I'll have all that information in the description bar below. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you did this tag, leave it as a video response because I would love to see it and I will talk to you guys later. Bye!